Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Where you so I'm so excited because in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to create custom color corrections for your Snapchat lenses. In this tutorial, you will need to have Lightroom, Photoshop, and Lens Studio. When making color corrections, it's completely subjective to your own creativity. Typically, when you create a color correction, you're gonna to wanna to use an image that has little to no imperfections per se, or you've already edited it to look as though it wasn't taken in natural lighting. So what I mean by this is you're gonna to wanna to have an image that's not too bright, not too dark, not super contrasty, not super faded, and nothing too out of the ordinary. So in order to have a good example, I took this selfie in a really well lit room with natural lighting because when people use Snapchat, most of the time they're gonna be in those conditions. The first thing I think of when I think of making a color correction is I wanna make my skin tone look good. I'm a very pale person, so it doesn't hurt to look a little bit tamer. So what I'm gonna be doing to fix that is I'm gonna be turning up the warmth just a little bit change the red primary to more of an orange. I'm gonna be going into the orange, changing the hue just a little bit more red, upping the saturation just a little bit, and lowering the luminance. Now I know that looks really bad, we'll, we'll fix it. And then I really don't like green, so we're taking away green. <laughs> so we're just gonna take away green, and I kind of wanna leave the blues but we're gonna make it more of a navy blue. So, so far, to me, this looks like I'm really tan. There's the before, there's the after. So to me, that looks pretty good. I'm not sure how it's gonna look on snap. When you're working with color corrections, it's kinda hard to get it down to an exact science of what it's gonna look like exactly when you put it into Lens Studio. A lot of the time, the Adobe software is more fine-tuned and can handle more things. So, like sharpness, clarity, that kind of thing. So it, so it's really hard to tell what exactly it's gonna look like in Lens Studio. There's a little bit of tri trial and error there. But one thing I am gonna do is I'm going to turn down the shad the blacks just a little bit, lower the highlights just a little bit actually, and then we're gonna up the contrast. So there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name this preset, we're just gonna call it Tutorial. So to make a preset, you're gonna wanna go to Develop, New Preset, and then you're gonna type what name you want, and then you're going to select the folder that you want it to be in, and then press create. There you go. So, the next thing you're going to need is this LUT generator. I will link it in the description, so you'll have access to this specific LUT generator. So, the first thing we're going to do is generate a hull, and this is going to be a diagram that allows us to convert it to a cube. So, once you have the hull, you can go ahead and import it into Lightroom, and when you go to import, all you have to do is press import and then search for the image that you have. And yeah. So now that I have opened my hold, I'm just going to simply press on the preset. And as you can see, it changes all the colors in that snap. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of getting a little bit nervous with how much orange there is in this picture. So we are actually going to turn the white balance a little bit less orange. We're going to actually raise the luminance of the blues, as well as raising the luminance of the yellows and the reds. And this will have a much more balanced picture. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to export that file. And all you have to do is you can name it whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what you name it. Anyways, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the LUT converter. So then we're going to press convert to cube and then it should pull up our finder and then we're just going to press tutorial. There we go. It's already made it. So that was really easy. So now we're just going to open Photoshop. So now what we're going to do is we are going to use the post effect table that Snapchat gives us. What you can do is you can just search Snapchat post effect and then scroll down and click on the base lookup table. Save image as. You'll just save the image as you typically save an image and then you'll open it up in Photoshop. Alrighty, so now that I have my post effect table pulled up, we're going to go to color lookup and then we're going to press load 3D LUT. And you just have to click on it. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the folder that you put your cube in and you're just going to want to click on that. And as you can see, it has 
And as you can see, that LUT has changed the way the post-effect table looks. So now we're just going to quick export as PNG. And I'm just saving that to my desktop. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open Lens Studio. You're going to want to open a new project. So now that you have your new project all set up, we're going to go to, we're going to press Add New under Objects, and we're going to go to Post Effects, and we're going to click Color Correction. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Texture, click on it, and then click Add New, and then we'll go to Import. Then we are going to go to Desktop, find the tutorial PNG. Okay, we've entered it, and voila! This is how my color correction looks. So we're just to double check and see, um, we're going to go to a photo and we are going to test it with an image that I already have. So this is ideally what it's going to look like in a situation when it's used in Lens Studio. So personally, not my favorite, um, but so personally, I don't like to have my LUTs all the way. Um, opaque I like to have a little bit of transparency there so we're going to leave the alpha at 50 it, um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to do a face retouch for three different people and how we do this once again is we just leave it at that this also helps this also makes the skin super smooth and helps the filter look way better in terms of patchiness and color so in order to make this filter work for different people, what we are going to do is we are going to change the face index. So when you have your face index set to zero, that means it works for the first face it picks up. So when we do one, it works for two faces. We're going to paste another face retouch, and we're going to move it to two, and now it works for three people. Alrighty guys, so I hope this tutorial helped you learn how to make a color correction using Lightroom, Photoshop, and Lens Studio. You will also need an LUD converter, which is linked in the description. Um, I'm really excited because I feel like not that many people know how to do this on Lens Studio, and it is something that can really shape the way your lenses look. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Alrighty, bye. <laughs>